five, four, three, two, one. Go for lunch. Looking at Falcon 9 standing ready for liftoff from Vandenberg Space Force Base's Space Launch Complex 4 East at 5.11 a.m. Pacific Time. Hello and welcome to the webcast for the SARA-2 mission on behalf of our customer OHB, marking SpaceX's 94th launch of the year. SARA is the successor mission to the SAR-LUPA system, which has been in service since 2007. Here's more on today's mission. minus 5 minutes and 15 seconds. All systems are go for an on-time liftoff of the Falcon 9 two-stage rocket that you see there on your screen. The range is ready to support and weather is looking great for 100% probability of good weather at T0. The entire vehicle stands 230 feet tall roughly the height of a 20-story building. The bottom two-thirds of the vehicle is the first stage and the primary part of the rocket that gets reused over and over again. Today will be the eighth flight for this particular booster, having previously launched SDA, Zero A, and six Starlink missions. At the bottom of the first stage, there are nine Merlin engines that will get Falcon 9 off the ground and up into the thinner parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The two stages the two stages will then separate from one another and the second stage will continue to orbit while the first stage makes its way back down to Earth for its land landing attempt. And if successful, today's launch will mark the 256th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy boosters. And there you can see on your screen, just below the fairing, there are clamp arms that are opening up there. And now the TE or the strong back is beginning to retract away from the vehicle. Now the TE routes the vehicle's fluids, power, and telemetry umbilicals from the ground systems to the rocket and satellites until Falcon 9 goes on internal power and clears the pad. It is slow and slight, but you can see that the TE is almost fully reclined there. And the next milestone coming up is liquid oxygen loading completion on the first stage vehicle. 
Prop loading will complete on stage two at the T-minus two minute mark. Stage one, lock slot is complete. And there's that call out that locks loading is complete on the first stage. That means that the first stage vehicle is now fully loaded with RP1 and liquid oxygen. Again, we are continuing to load propellants on the second stage. Liquid oxygen is what is left. And again, that will conclude at the T minus two minute mark. And so far, all systems are go for an on-time liftoff. The range is green. And again, we have 0% chance of probability of violation for weather at T0. We are expecting that the stage two vehicle is fully loaded with liquid oxygen. And it's also worth noting that the, at the request stage of- Stage two, lock load is complete. And there's that call out for confirmation of propellant loading completion on Falcon 9. It's also worth noting that at the request of our customer, we will be ending the webcast with first stage landing about eight minutes into the mission. The next milestone coming up will be Falcon 9 in startup and stage one and stage two will also begin to pressurize for launch at the T minus one minute mark. Falcon 9 is in startup. And great news, the internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. Now we are waiting for the final call from the launch director. LD is go for launch. And you heard that call out, we are go for launch. So all systems are go for an on-time liftoff of Falcon 9. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and lift off. Stop. Vehicle station got range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has lifted off. Falcon 9 is now Power throttling. Nominal. Falcon 9 is throttling down its engines in preparation for max Q or the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures that the vehicle will see on ascent. We throttle down the engines vehicle to supersonic. slow the vehicle down a bit. Max Q. And there's that call out that we've passed through max Q. Next up, we have six events coming up in quick succession. That will be Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, the boost back burn on the first stage starting up, as well as bearing deployment. Kill has started. Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we shut down all nine of those engines that you can see there lit up on your screen. That will help slow the stage down to prepare for stage separation. Stage one then will begin a flip maneuver and start up its boost back burn and allow it to head back down to land while the second stage 
continues with SES-1 or second stage engine start one. And that's where we ignite that MVAC engine. And then we should also hear a call out for fairing deploy. Again, all of those events coming up here. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. In about 10 seconds or so, Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SES-1, boost back burn, as well as fairing deploy. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back burn. Fairing separation confirmed. And great news, we had all of those uh, events. Back. That was Miko stage separation. The first stage began its flip as well as its boost back burn. And the MVAC engine has ignited on the second stage as well as we heard confirmation of fairing deploy. As a reminder, at the request of our customer, we won't be sharing any further views of the second stage and we will be following stage one from this point forward. Stage one boost back shut down. And with that call out, we've had the boost back burn conclude. At T plus three minutes and 45 seconds into launch, we've so far completed one of three burns that the first stage will need to complete in order to make its way back to a land landing today. The second burn coming up will be the entry burn, and that's where we'll ignite three of the Merlin N1D engines to help slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. That entry burn is coming up in just a couple of minutes. And then the third and final burn for the booster today will be the landing burn, and that will be There's a single. Content, not one. First motion time was one three colon one one colon zero zero Zulu. That will be a single engine burn, and that helps slow down the vehicle just as it touches down for landing. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. We are just under a minute and 20 seconds away from the entry burn on the first stage. Now what you're seeing on your screen is a view of mission control, but the first stage is indeed making its way back to land to attempt to land at landing zone four today. And in order to land back at land, we do need three burns for the first stage. The boost back burn has concluded. And coming up in about 20 seconds or so will be the entry burn. That burn lasts just under 15 seconds long and again helps to slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn. And there we heard that call out and you can see on your screen that the engines have reignited on the first stage vehicle. Again, this is just about a 15 second burn. Stage one entry shutdown. Stage one FTS is saved. 
And as you heard and saw, the entry burn is now complete. Next up will be the last and final burn for the first stage vehicle. That will be the landing burn, and that's the center E9 engine reigniting just before the vehicle touches down. Again, we are scheduled to land on landing zone four today. And landing zone four is not too Stage far one, away. Transonic. Not too far away from our launch site. Stage one landing burn. And there's that call out for the landing burn. And you can see on your screen that the single engine has ignited. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. And what an excellent view there of Falcon 9 touching down on landing zone four. This marks our 256th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stage landings. With that, at the request of our customer, we are going to bring our webcast to a close. Thank you to OHB for entrusting us with today's mission. And thank you all for tuning in, and happy holidays.